Hey guys, in this video I'll be going through this ratio problem on the screen at the moment and I'll give two methods to solve this problem. The idea behind giving two methods is that maybe one method makes more sense to you than the other and also sometimes depending on the problem one method is easier to use than the other one. Uh, so let's get into the question. The question says a bag has red and yellow sweets. Some of the sweets are fizzy. All of the other sweets are bonbons. The ratio of the number of red sweets to the number of yellow sweets is 6 to 5. The ratio of the number of red fizzy sweets to the number of red bonbons is 1 to 2. The ratio of the number of yellow fizzy sweets to the number of yellow bonbons is 3 to 4. What fraction of all the sweets are fizzy? Okay, so what I'm going to do is to reduce some of this information down a little bit. Uh, so they've told us that the ratio of red sweets to yellow sweets is 6 to 5. So I want to write that a bit shorter. So I can say that R to Y red to yellow equals 6 to 5. Okay. What this is telling us, if I were to rewrite this in fractions, and this, this method I'm going through now will depend on knowledge of fractions. So this says that uh, the, the fraction of red sweets, the fraction of red sweets, well, we have 6 to 5, so that's 11 parts in the ratio. So the fraction of red sweets is 6 out of 11. And the fraction of yellow sweets, the fraction of yellow sweets is 5 out of 11. Okay, so we have 11 parts, 6 of those are red and 5 of those are yellow. They also tell us that the ratio of red fizzies to red bonbons is 1 to 2. So I could say RF standing for red fizzies and RB standing for red bonbons equals 1 to 2. And so this is saying, now all I care about is the fraction of fizzy sweets, of the red sweets. So this is saying um, the fraction of, of red fizzies is, if there's three parts in this ratio, one of those is red fizzy sweets. So this is going to be one out of three. And they tell us the, the other ratio of yellow fizzy sweets to yellow bonbons is three to four. So yellow fizzy sweets to yellow bonbons is three to four. And so the fraction of yellow fizzies is, there's seven parts in this ratio, three of those are yellow fizzy sweets, so that's three out of seven. Okay, so we have taken the ratios and changed them into fractions. So I know the fraction of the total of red sweets is six out of 11, and five out of 11 for the yellow sweets, and we have fractions for the fizzy sweets as well. And uh, so the, the question is asking what fraction of all the sweets are fizzy. So I want to find a third of a sixth out of 11 to find the fraction of the total sweets that are red fizzy sweets. And I'll give a quick example of why this works. So let's say you have a pie and uh, you cut a quarter of that pie out. And then out of that quarter of a pie, you give half to your friend. So your friend has taken a half of a quarter and the question might be, well, what is that part of the pie out of, as a fraction out of the total pie? You know that it's a half of a quarter. So what is the fraction of a total? Well, you need to multiply a half by a quarter. So it's a half of a quarter. So you multiply those together and you get the fraction out of the total pie. So a half times a quarter, one times one is one, two times four is eight. So that tells you that that half of a quarter is an eighth of the total pie, and you can easily see that's correct. That's clearly an eighth of the total pie. So if you understand that idea, that a, a fraction of another fraction means that you multiply them together to get a fraction of the total, then uh, we can use that idea to solve this problem. So I, have, so I have a third of the red sweets is fizzy, and the fraction of the red sweets out of the total is six out of 11. So the fraction of the total amount of sweets that are fizzy will be a third times six out of 11. That will tell me the fraction of red fizzy sweets out of the total. And then I need to add on to that the fraction of yellow fizzy sweets out of the total. So to do that, I need three sevenths of five elevenths. And so this becomes the problem I have to solve. Now one, a third times six elevenths, I can use canceling to solve this. So this three and this six, they can cancel. So if I divide both by three, 
3 goes into 3 once and 3 goes into 6 two times. So this becomes two, 1 times 2 is 2 and 1 times 11 is 11. And then uh, 3 over 7 times 5 over 11, 3 times 5 is 15 and 7 times 11 is 77. And then I need to add these fractions together and I need a common denominator to add those together. So the common denominator here, well, uh, I can't reduce 77 any further, but 11 goes into 77. So I can multiply this fraction by seven. Seven times two is 14. Seven times 11 is 77 plus 15 on 77. And now I have the same denominator. I can add the numerators together, 14 plus 15, that's 29 on 77. So the answer to the question, 29 on 77 for the fraction of the sweets that are fizzy. Okay, so that's one method involving changing the ratios into fractions. Then we can go through another method. So this method involves finding common factors between the ratios. So if we say the ratio of red to yellow sweets equals six to five, and we have the ratio of red fizzy sweets to red bonbons equals one to two. What I want is to kind of fit this ratio so it adds up to six. So an equivalent ratio to one to two could be two to four. So I've just multiplied both numbers by two and now they add up to six. So I could say that this ratio kind of fits in or adds up to this section of this ratio here. And also for the yellow sweets, I have a ratio of three to four, um, but I can't fit that into, into five because this is already seven parts. That means I'm going to have to multiply this ratio by something. Uh, so in order to kind of find a common multiple for all of these numbers, I have to multiply this by something and also this by something. So, uh, so what we need to do is to find the lowest common multiple of what these ratios add up to. So this ratio adds up to seven and this ratio adds up to 11. So I need the lowest common multiple of 11 and seven. So the lowest common multiple of those two numbers uh, is 77. That's the lowest number that both of those numbers will go into evenly. Uh, so in order for this ratio to add up to 77, I need to multiply it by seven. Six times seven, that's 42. Five times seven, that's 35. To make this ratio add up to 35, remember because this is the yellow sweet, so they need to add up to 35. Uh, well, this adds up to seven, so I need to multiply by five. 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 5 is 20. And this ratio now needs to add up to 42. So 6 times what equals 42? Uh, that's going to be 7. Uh, so multiply each of these by 7, that's going to be 14. And 4 times 7, that's 28. Okay, so now the ratio of red sweets adds up to the part of the ratio that relates to red sweets when we're comparing red and yellow sweets. And the ratio of fizzy sweets to bonbons for the yellow sweets add up, adds up to the part of the ratio here that is yellow sweets. And so now we can rewrite these as fractions. So, so we know the, the ratio of the total sweets can um, adds up to 77, so that's our total. And out of that ratio, 14 parts is red fizzy sweets. Um, so the red Fizzy sweets equals 14 out of 77, and the yellow fizzy sweets equals uh, 15 out of 77, and then we can just add those up to make uh, 29 out of 77. So that's another method where you're kind of looking for a lowest common multiple of, of the original ratio. Let me know which method you prefer, which makes more sense to you. Leave a like if you appreciate this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.